This is exciting. We've done the first 50 lessons from the workbook of A Course in Miracles, and today we're up to Review 1. So let's read the introduction for the review section. Beginning with today, we will have a series of review periods. Each of them will cover five of the ideas already presented, starting with the first and ending with the 50th. There will be a few short comments after each of the ideas, which you should consider in your review. In the practice periods, the exercises should be done as follows. Begin the day by reading the five ideas with the comments included. Thereafter, it is not necessary to follow any particular order in considering them, though each one should be practiced at least once. Devote two minutes or more to each practice period, thinking about the idea and the related comments after reading them over. Do this as often as possible during the day. If any one of the five ideas appeals to you more than the others, concentrate on that one. At the end of the day, however, be sure to review all five again. It is not necessary to cover the comments that follow each idea, either literally or thoroughly in the practice periods. Try, rather, to emphasize the central point and think about it as part of your review of the idea to which it relates. After you have read the idea and the related comments, the exercises should be done with your eyes closed and when you are alone in a quiet place if possible. This is emphasized for practice periods at your stage of learning. It will be necessary, however, that you learn to require no special settings in which to apply what you have learned. You will need your learning most in situations that appear to be upsetting rather than in those that already seem to be calm and quiet. The purpose of your learning is to enable you to bring the quiet with you and to heal distress and turmoil. This is not done by avoiding them and seeking a haven of isolation for yourself. You will yet learn that peace is a part of you and requires only that you be there to embrace any situation in which you are. And finally you will learn that there is no limit to where you are, so your peace is everywhere, as you are. You will note that, for review purposes, some of the ideas are not given in quite their original form. Use them as they are given here. It is not necessary to return to the original statements nor to apply the ideas as was suggested then. We are now emphasizing the relationships among the first 50 of the ideas we have covered and the cohesiveness of the thought system to which they are leading you. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.